Yeah. So let's talk about the plans to expand Kericho County, another hot topic that has elicited mixed reactions there, Governor. Tell us a bit about why you want to expand the horizons of the county. You know, I think it was misquoted. We, don't, we, we didn't say we are not expansionists. Okay. We are not encroaching like Sumo or Nandi. What we are saying within Kericho Town itself, and this is not a conversation which began the other day. This conversation has been there. The president raised this um, when he was a deputy president, that uh, for us to grow Kericho, we need to have some more space. As this Kericho now is congested, in the special plan of Kericho, we need to have an industrial site. As it is now, we don't have an industrial park in Kericho. So when you're even looking for investors, in fact, after this show, I'm meeting some Spanish investors from Spain who are here in town. I think they're having a meeting state house, and then we meet with them later. When we are encouraging them and we are building on to move into manufacturing industry to create jobs for our people, when the president is talking about affordable housing in Kericho and other places of this country, we are talking about the space, the availability of space. And that is why we have proposed that we need another 1,000 acres for expansion to plan a new a special plan for a better upgrade Kericho town, which includes an airport, includes all those other fixtures, you know, residential areas. We have spaces, again, for business and CBD and all that. We don't even have a showground in Kericho at the moment. So from where yeah. is this 1,000 yeah. acres going to come from? Are you expanding from within or what? Because you're saying you're not planning to go beyond what you already have. So where is this land going to come from? What are you looking at? I've told you, like I said before, we have uh, around three or in excess of 3,000 acres. That was encroached by the multinationals. And uh, 1,000 will come from there. 1,000 will come from there? Within. Yes. So, so how, how? The our town, the highway stretches like this, okay. just right from the CBD, we'll get 1,000 acres from there, there. How practical then? Because there are already people who are settled there, right? There are no people there. Those are just tea leaves. The tea leaves? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is the land then registered? It, it is leased. It's leased? Yes. So how, because earlier on I posed the question as to the due process... Uh, in the establishment of, uh, because you raised a question on uh, the content of uh, the refreshing of the lease mm. that you said expired. Mm. And uh, when I told you about, asked you about the inquiry, you did say this was a matter still in progress. Mm. So, as, as, I mean, because there's the rule of law here and, and the due diligence that you ought to be pursuing, mm. how practical is that then you will annex that 1,000 acres? We are just not, you know, the law permits national government at any time to do compulsory land acquisition. Yeah, so there is a law that governs on compulsory land acquisition. And we are saying, look here, gentlemen, you have these tracts of lands close to 50 or so thousand acres. When you just annex 1,000, is a very small acreage. And like I said before, we have another 1,700 acres of land. Of course, already they have been encroached and all that, which we can always have a negotiated agreement that we can stretch, you know, we can push further towards that end so that we create space uh, facing the CBD. And I, I can tell you, we will not lack a way out of it. Okay, so, so legally, at, at any given time, you, yes. because you have spoken about this matter unpassionately, mm. about the multinationals, the acreage in terms of the land mass, mm. and uh, the tea plantation there. Then, who, who is the owner? James Finley. James Finley. The tea plantation. Does he own it legally or? In the tea plantation is leased by James Finley. The land belongs to the people of Kericho. The people of Kericho Met. County. So, yes. so where, where is the line between <laughs> the ownership by the person you are mentioning <laughs> yeah. and the people of Kericho County? Because we need some clarity about I've that. said the land. The NLC ruled that this land belongs to the people of Kericho and Bomet. They are trustees of the land, right? The tea that you are seeing is a business farm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was done like decades ago. And the lease was renewed. So if you lease a land, does that land belong to you? So you want a thousand acres of it to come back to the county for expansion plans that you have? When the, when the time comes, we will always approach that. <laughs> All right. So yeah. uh, the neighbor, just, just, just for clarity, the neighboring counties yeah. um, ought not to be worried that. No, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was misquoted. Okay. We are saying, but, but of course, uh, we've also had issues even in Kericho in terms of boundaries. Yeah. Like the Sondu market, which is bordering Kisumu and Kericho. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, we've had disputes on the same, and uh, my, I'm very happy my good uh, elder brother, Anyang Nyong, is a very reasonable man, and we've had discussions on these, and we put the maps there, and then we resolve the issue once and for all. We've had even questions on, I think you saw a, a farm called, uh, called Bokwa Farm, which is deep inside Kericho, and some squatters from Gisumu County were supposed to be settled on the same, and of course there are all these conversations. Mm -hmm. okay. So mother's boundaries is something that I haven't raised with the 
council okay. on how to navigate it. 